Oh, I'm itchy. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to share with you some of the sample products that I've used uh, from my subscription services or just free products that I've gotten with um, like gift with purchase type of things or just samples that I've picked up from like Sephora or, or Ulta. So I figured I'd give you my thoughts, you know, not too much of a quote unquote review on the product, but just really quickly show you what I've tried. And if you want to see what I've tried um, from my subscription boxes and samples, then just keep watching. Okay, first up, let's start with some of these dry shampoos because I've got quite a few of these little guys here. So I'm just going to really quickly talk about them. Okay, if this thing would stop cutting off for just like 10 minutes, I could literally be done in like 10 minutes. Okay, first up, we're going to talk about Fakai. This is the Fakai Blowout Hair Refresher Dry Shampoo. I really, really like this, and I probably will buy the full size version of it once I um, fin once I finish out all the other dry shampoos I'll definitely um, pick up the full size version of this I really love the scent and the product is amazing okay next up this is actually not a dry shampoo this is by the brand Oscar Blondie and this is the hair lift thickening and strengthening mousse I did like this although I didn't really feel like it gave me that much volume in my hair. It did do a little something something. I don't do a lot of heat styling to my hair so it's kind of really hard to tell with like these mousse, mousse type of products but I definitely won't be purchasing a full size of this but it was okay. Now we have the r Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. Um, I did like this. I don't know where I can purchase the full size product. Probably off of the Birchbox um, website. I believe that's where I got this one. So yeah, I liked it and I'll be looking forward to using this again. Okay, now we have the Batiste, Batiste, however you say it. This is the dry shampoo in floral and fruity blush. Wasn't crazy about this one, to be honest. I don't know if it was the scent, um, but I didn't like this one. I do like the one in the dark can, like the brown for brunettes. And I also like the one with the green flowers, but wasn't crazy about this one. Okay, now we have the Laboratories Chlorine Shampooing Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. And I did like this one as well. Um, this says for brown to dark hair, cleans without water, blah, blah, blah. It was okay. I may purchase the full size of this if I can find it in the store. I'm not going to go out of my way and purchase it online, but it was good. I liked it tried a couple of these L'Oreal Nutrigloss um, sample thingies and I actually got these out of a magazine. I want to say it was Glamour or something like that, but I did like these. I really did. So I probably will purchase the full size product. This is the Advanced Hair Care Nutrigloss High Shine Glyco Silk Shampoo and Conditioner. So that is that. It's hard to give a full review on a sample because a lot of times it takes more than a couple uses to really get a feel of a product. So I'm not really giving reviews. I'm just letting you know if I'd be willing to purchase the full size product or not. Okay, now we have the Living Proof. Um, what is this? Living Proof Restore Instant Repair uh, Hair Lotion, like repairing lotion. I did like this as far as like the way my hair smelled. Um, and the way it felt, but I don't know that it like really did anything significant to my hair, so I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. Here we have the Red Flower Moisturizing Body Lotion in Blood Orange. It looks like this. It's just a little squeezy tube, and I did like this, although I've never seen this in the store, so I probably won't be purchasing this ever, maybe? I don't know. Okay, here we have another one of those products that um, I got out of a magazine. This is the Garnier uh, Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And, I mean, this is a foil packet, so it's hard to say if I would be willing to purchase the full-size product just based off of this sample. Did I like it when I used it? 
yeah, it was okay, I guess. It felt good, but I mean, it's hard to say that it really did anything for my skin because it was just a foil packet. Here we have the Ageless Body Cream with Pink Grapefruit, Vanilla Botanicals, and Shea Butter. It looks like this. I did really enjoy this. It smelled delicious. But like I said, this is by um, Harvey Prince, which his products are amazing. Although I've never seen them in stores, so I probably won't be purchasing the full size of this. But I did like the sample. This is the Malin or Malin and Goetz. It's the Bergamot Body Wash. It was nice. It was, you know, lather. it lathered great and all that kind of stuff. It smelled good. But I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Here we have the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Serum. I am all about some anti-aging. I love the Origins brand, um, but in a sample this size, it doesn't come full packed in the bottle, so it's hard to say that it really did anything. I wasn't all that um, happy about the scent. It had a weird scent to it. Um, very herbally. I mean, it is a plant scription, but it felt good. Uh, I, I mean, I did like the way it felt. I don't know that it did anything for my skin, but I do like the Origins brand. Okay, here we have the Laniage. I don't know how you pronounce this. Pronounce this. This is the BB Cushion with SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Um, this was one of those cushion style um, like foundation or BB creams. I did not like this at all. I got this in my Target Sampler Beauty Box or whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, I wasn't a fan of this. I will not be purchasing the full size product of this bad boy at all. Here we have another foil packet. I probably got this as a sample like maybe from the actual... I don't know. I, I want to say this came out of a magazine. This is the Visionaire um, by Lancome, and I love this stuff. I've had a bottle of this before. Not the full-size bottle, but like a travel size. And even with the travel size bottle, because with serums like this, all you need is a teeny tiny little bit, and it goes a long way. But I'm telling you guys, especially with like these 11s, that's what they're called, I guess, these little um, lines in the middle here. Um, you know, here in Florida, I have a lot of expression lines because I'm constantly squinting and that kind of stuff. And I really, 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 really think that this made a huge difference in the, um, amount of wrinkles that were here. Um, I mean, I used to be able to feel them and I mean, I really can't feel them at all. I know they're still there, but they're not as deep, if that makes any sense. So I definitely want to, you know, get the full size bottle of this. I know it's pricey. It's like a hundred dollars. But to have a wrinkle-free skin, I will pay more than $100. So definitely, definitely, if you're in my age range, I am like 40 almost. So, you know, skincare is very important to me. So if you're experiencing some wrinkles, especially like around the eyes or on the forehead, that sort of thing, try this out, I promise you. And, you know, don't think that these kind of products work overnight. You got to use them every day. But... I noticed a huge difference with this product here. I have a few makeup samples um, from Sephora. I've got quite a few here. Hang on a second. First we have the Tarte Clay. Um, what is this? Okay, the Tarte Clay Foundation in Tan Honey. Um, I did like this. It's very thick, but full coverage and I like it. I will eventually get the full size product of this. I just want to kind of go through some of the makeup that I already have. So definitely will be buying this one. Here we have the Josie Marin uh, Matchmaker. And this was a powder foundation. As you can see, there are some little sponges in there. I wasn't impressed with this one, maybe because of the way the samples were given. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would have to purchase the product and try it like straight out of the pan to really get a feel of how I like it, but wasn't crazy about the sample. Then I had the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and I had the shade number 52. I did like this and again I would like to get the full size of this product. Here I've got the Josie Marin Light Medium. Oh, this was one of those um, uh, what do you call it? It 
it kind of like goes on white and then adjusts to your skin tone. Wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. The sample wasn't enough to really determine if I liked it enough to buy the full size product. So maybe I'll get another sample later on down the road just to try it out another, you know, two or three times to see. But um, that's what that was. Here I've got the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in N N150, N155, and there's still a tiny bit left in the N155. I currently have the N150 on my vanity. I haven't used it yet, but I did like the um, foundation, so not quite sure on the shade yet. I, I, I think I'm going to try another shade or two just until I find my perfect match, but I did like the foundation. Here is another um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This one was in medium sand, and again, I did like it. Very thick, very full coverage, but I liked the foundation. We've got another foil packet. This is the Garnier Fructis Nourishing Avocado Olive and Shea Oil Conditioner. I did like this stuff. I've never seen it in the store, um, but I did like the sample, so. Then we have the Caudalie, um, what is this? The, 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 the Divine Oil by Caudalie. Very, very nice. It's a dry oil that um, moisturizes, nourishes, and enhances the skin. I did like it, but as you can see, this bottle is teensy, teensy, tiny. And it wasn't enough to really see if I liked it. There's three mils in the sample. And if, you know, for something that you gotta rub onto your skin, I mean, come on now. This is by the brand Beauty Protector. It's a protect and detangle leave-in conditioner, and I really like this. I used it in Sophie's hair, and it made her hair smell and feel really soft and um, just effortless to do. So if I can come across a full size of this, I would like to purchase it. I don't like to buy um, things online if I don't have to, but yeah, I did like this sample. Here is the Sisley, uh, let's see, what is this? Hydra Global, it's a hydration intense anti-age like serum thingy. And again, it's hard to really get the feel of a sample that is this small. I mean, what is this? There's four mils in this little squeezy tube, but it's really, really small. I did like it when I used it, and I always use my um, like eye creams and like face serums, anything that's anti-aging when I get it in a subscription, I always, always, always use it. Okay, here we have the Lumine Firming Day Cream with the SPF 15. I did like this, but I really like the night cream better. Um, they're quite pricey for a drugstore. You can get this at the drugstore. I bought mine at CVS. I actually purchased um, this little guy here. I want to say it's not a sample, but maybe like a travel size um, tub of moisturizer. But it's the Time Freeze with Arctic Heather, and it was a nice, uh, like, face cream. Okay, here we have the Clinique All About Eyes. This is the, it reduces circles, puff. It reduces dark circles and, like, puffiness around the eyes. This jar is completely empty. I scraped every little bit of it out, and I did like it. Not sure if I'll purchase the full size, but I did like this. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the box here. Um, this was a sample of the um, lip paints by OCC, or not, lip, yeah, the Lip Tars. I can't remember the shade, I can't remember the name of the shade, but let me tell you what, this stuff here, <laughs> let me just show you, a little bit goes a long, long way. This stuff is actually dried out, but that is the color, I don't know if, you, if it's going to pick up there, but that is the color here. It's a very, very pretty bright pink color. I mean, this stuff, literally, you need a dot, like a dot, and it would paint your whole lips with it. It's amazing stuff. If you get a chance to try some of the lip tars, definitely do it. Okay, here we have the number four. This is the High Performance Hair Care. It's the Prep and Protect Spray. I can't remember if I like this or not. I use the entire thing, so... Obviously, it was worth um, trying the entire bottle. Here is the Murad Line Tamer. It's the Time Release Retinol Concentrate. I liked this. I really do. I like Murad altogether, so I probably will eventually like to get the full-size product of this. 
Um, this is just the back of that Laneige, however you say it, sponge thingy. Okay, here's another Murad product. This is the Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes, and it's just in a little teeny tiny pot. This is completely dry. I wiped every little bit of this out, and I did like it. Like I said, the Murad line altogether is great stuff. Here we have Glam Glow, and this came in um, my subscription box. This is the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. And I have mixed reviews about this because I read somewhere by a dermatologist, actually it was a couple of dermatologists, and I can't remember which magazine I read it in, but it said that although this really doesn't do anything significant to your skin, so it may feel good and look good, you know, but it doesn't really do much for the skin. So I don't know, I think I'm going to do a little bit more research because it is quite pricey. Um, you can get it at Sephora. I don't know if you can get it at Ulta, but I know you can get it at Sephora, but yeah, it's from Hollywood, so. Okay, here we have the Tarte Lifted Natural Eye Primer with a Fermatol, and I did like this eye primer. Um, I mean, it's eye primer, but anything that's going to prime my eyes and treat like sagginess or wrinkles or anything like that, I'm all about it, so. I don't know if I'll repurchase this one, but it was definitely good stuff. Okay, this is the this is the Bamboo Smooth Candy Oil Dry Mist by Alterna, and I did like this. I think I've gotten this a couple of times or something similar, I don't know, but I always get these like little sleek bottles by this brand, and they're usually like some sort of dry oil for the hair or something like that. But I used this in Sophie's hair to help control her frizz, and it worked amazing. Sorry, I have an itch in my ear. But it worked amazing, and yeah, I've never seen this in the store, so I don't know if you can purchase it in the store or in a salon. Plus, it was okay. All right, last sample, and I promise I'm done. This is by the brand Caudalie. This is the Premier Crew uh, La Creme eye cream I don't know it's just a teeny tiny little sample so it's hard to say if I will purchase the full size because this was only one mil of a product so did I like it when I use it obviously I squeezed it flat as you can see but I mean I don't know Caudalie is a great brand so I'm sure if I had a bigger size I would have had more nice things to say about it but yeah, that's everything in my little thing here that was filled with samples. I hope you all enjoyed this video. In the comments below, let me know if you would like me to continue to do these. I think it's kind of nice to, you know, a lot of times people get subscriptions and don't really try the products, which I think really defeats the purpose. But I pretty much try everything. As you can see in this video, I try it all because... A lot of it's skincare and makeup, and who doesn't want to try that? So, yeah. Thumbs up the video if you did. Leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. And if you've tried any of these products, let me know what you think about, you know, you know your thoughts on the products if you've tried them. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.